Hey guys, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about moving this uh, this pole, right? Because I've seen uh, quite a few of you struggling with the with the thinking about how to 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 do that, right? With ease. So this obviously has like five edges coming into it, right? And we want, for example, the the one next to it uh, in any direction, to be honest. To, uh, to have you know uh, five edges so how do we do that so when we're moving uh, this kind of stuff we're gonna need extra loops right to support the the change of uh, of geometry right so let's presume this like let's make this you know nice ring to flow kind of like straight and then we realize that we have a lot of distance here more than you know the average that means that we need to kind of like go and introduce another loop in here. Now, introducing this loop in here, obviously, uh, is gonna come on. It's gonna uh, generate like a triangle here, right? And we we don't want that triangle to to exist, right? But we also don't want this edge to exist in this vertex right but we want it to still be here which means that this is going to be a quad because we have like three quads around right this can you stop speaking from behind right we have these three quads <laughs> and what we need now is to have another quad in here but that cannot really happen by connecting this like this right gonna generate you know like another triangle so what you have to do here is to take this edge and cut in here introduce another loop and just remove this edge right? by introducing this loop here we we solve that issue now we have four quads and we have our uh, point where we wanted it to be uh, on the next vertex does that make sense to you guys it's uh it's not very complicated if you're doing it a few times right it just looks uh very weird when you're uh when you're trying to to make it you know the first time same like like for example i want to move this here right we have four edges i know i want a fifth right i'll put it in here right i'll go with the loop but again we have a triangle here and uh, we want this to remain with five and this only to have four that means we need to get rid of uh, one of the edges and how do we get rid of one of the edges is by introducing uh, you know another loop in here and removing the edge that was the fifth right so now if i smooth this down you see i moved the uh, the pin higher but i have two extra loops to retain the shape of my face but by changing the position of of this pole okay practice a bit and it's going to become easier if you have any kind of issues but kind of like this is my overall thinking when it comes to moving poles around cheers <laughs>